Okay, um, what I'm going to show you today is, this is a me top hat I made. I bought the hat pre-done, but I just glued the stuff on it. Um, what I want to tell you is, um, as a little update was my petition, I got 34 signatures on change.org. And on CARE 2, I got 44 signatures. So, what I'm going to tell everyone is, um, I do need more signatures, because if I can get up to 500 signatures, you know, it'll prove to Walmart that, hey, you can't do any investigation without having any physical evidence and proof. If they're hearsay, how can you investigate the accused without any physical evidence or proof, like what happened with me? Um, another thing is, like was tonight, Menards has me scheduled for from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. just to come in for a meeting. And here's what I hate to say, you know, Menards, they should do like Walmart. Set up different times at certain days and just hold their meeting up front and on them areas where there's no customers. And honestly, um, like I don't want to say to people, um, some of my updates I'll put for um, change.org. I will tell you all how it was for me working at Shapco Hometown, Gordy's Market, and Sears. And, and you guys kind of got the idea of how bad it's been for me at Menards. You know, I kind of just want to prove that, um, you know, I really just want to be able to have my red flag be removed so I can come back to Walmart so but yeah so um I'll tell you um, like with, with Sears, they were the, so far the best place I've ever worked at. They treated it seriously like family. I, I never was, you know, treated that bad, even by their customers. At any other place way before, um, I ever worked at Menard's. I never had any customer complaints on me, not one, with how I was doing my job or how I was acting, you know, you know, that's one thing I don't want to tell anyone, so, um, another thing is, I'm going to be hopefully trying to just, like I said, prove my point on this all to Walmart. It's so like I said, some of them that they red flag, they have really nowhere else to go to and no one wants to hire you after Walmart red flags, use what it says online, and why a lot of them do petitions uh, on removing their red flag, sending Walmart corporate letters and that from what I read online was they have nowhere else to go. And it takes years, yes, either they get their red flag removed by Walmart or with some they get turned around and sued by Walmart. And Walmart turns it as a harassment thing. So. 
But like I said, um, yeah, I am trying to start even my own biz online business. But um, what I'm gonna try to tell people is, if you could, you know get yourself all figured in that and I'll say this there's some things even Menards does that um, I'll tell you right now Walmart would never allow you to do when I thought they were pushed up good enough Walmart would not allow someone else to go as soon as I go outside to run up there quickly and push them up further. Because, yes, I, wa I was a part of a safety team. I'm not going to bring this anything up at tonight's meeting because I don't want to say anything that will get me in trouble. And, B, I don't want to go saying, like I said, Menard sent me something and... Like I said, for a pay raise, but they test you first. And I'm like, you know, I I don't see a future for me at Menards, you know. And I just kind of... I hate to say it like this too. Um, it's going to be, like I said, and there's some things like, like I hate to say, all retailers do like Menards is going to do in a couple days. Like this Friday, I work 3 p.m. until 10 o'clock at night. By the time I get home, it ain't going to be a lot until like a lot, almost 11 o'clock. And then they're going to want me to do is, um, then I'm going to have to do once I get back home is I'm going to have to eat, heat up something, eat. And I'm probably not going to be in bed until midnight. Okay. And then on Saturday, I got to be to work by 8 in the morning. So I'll go to bed at midnight and then let's say... My alarm's going to ring, which is to, to, to is the honest truth, at 5 a.m. I'm not going to get that much sleep. So I got to shower, eat breakfast, check my emails and that, and get to work by 8 a.m. and punch in. And I'm going to be deathly tired or... Yeah, there's times where I almost fall asleep at the wheel trying to get to work when they do this to me. I've had thoughts about changing my availability just so I can get enough sleep. And being only available till 8 o'clock at night. But then again, I worry too about will my hours drop quite a bit if I do this. And my husband says, yeah... And they'll schedule you for less days to work just because you're no longer available till close. Because, um, like I said, there should be a 12-hour rule like my husband said so that way you do get enough sleep. So, and... I don't know, because, like, like I said, it, it's going to be a weird way of saying it, but I think even with next week, and this is just a guess, I think next week might be the 11% sale. They don't tell us at Menards when the 11% sale is, which sucks. Because we get customers right now asking uh, every one of us 
when when is your 11% sale going to be? And then we tell them, I don't know, they don't tell us. Customer gets upset. So, like I said, it's something that's kind of hard to say. But, like I said, if we can follow my signers and all my viewers, shares, tweets, both my petitions, um, signs both of them, I think we can force Walmart to reinstate me as a 10 years of service associate. With back pay. Thank you for uh, for watching. Please like, subscribe, for more.